Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to implement Jetter in the form view and in case you missed previous discussion about how to implement, how to create Odoo configuration file using CLI command, please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblens channel under the playlist. You can see Odoo development label is here and with different playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases and in case you need any support related Odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow repository we have some social media pages make sure you can follow to get the latest notification so let's back to our main topic like how you can create a chatter functionality in the form view so what is exactly the chatter functionality is so let's say if you go to the cells view right in the form view here let's say you want to add some logs for this particular record for this order so generally we are doing here like this right so like this we can store our messages here and here you can see it will also provide this timestamp automatically right with the important message and the created by the user and the specific time here right so like this way you can also send the message or i mean the email to the respective followers right so we can also add like this right hey buddy please check this order and very important thanks and i will send so it will automatically send the email right so if you want to add such functionality in our custom module that is also possible so for that let's say here in the student profile so let me open this form view and here we can also try to add after this page we can also add here the chatter part okay so for that what we have to do is like we can open that existing module which is the school profile not the school but the student profile models and this is the student profile right and simple here we have to inherit one more model which is exist in the odoo right but before that what we have to do is in the main this manifest file right in this depends we have to add here one more module which is mail all right so this mail module have such functionality okay so this mixing class is available so let's say if i will restart the service right odo service let me minimize this one i will go to here in the app store i will try to update a list why i am doing this one sometimes odo accept the whatsoever we are doing in the python side right and sometimes it's not working at all why because in the manifest file the dependency module we have to add so for our safety purpose we are trying to add here this main module in the dependency okay and here we have to add here one more module which is the mail dot thread okay so this class already have some more functionality to extend the mail message okay so now let me go to in the settings technical and here i'm going to student profile let me also update i mean duplicate mail message so this is the first one and now automatically these all records we can directly access using this model okay once i will restart this one and i will try to upgrade the module now you can see the dependency also updated here and i will upgrade this module okay 
and now once I will refresh the screen you can see here 44 fields automatically updated the rest fields automatically updated you can see this one the messages right and here you can see all these sorry not this one uh, my bad mail.rand so all these fields right automatically add in this school dot student profile now now time to add in the form you right so for that let me minimize this one uh, let me update the student profile form view so this is the form view you can see you have to remember one thing when you implement this uh, this tag right after this tag you have to add one more tag the div tag okay so this div tag we have to add here like field name equal to message underscore ids that's it and here we have to use one more class oe chatter this is the simple css class we need to implement and if we will not implement this one this class let's say if we forgot then uh, the view gui part is also not working properly so we have to fix this part uh, we have to remember this one okay so here in the school underscore student profile we can directly upgrade here minus u and once i will upgrade restart the service it will automatically upgrade this module in case let's say if you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained so please check that video also how to configure so now let's say if i will go to in the list view and refresh the screen and once i will update now you can see here this chatter part is also available the good thing is you can also update uh, upload the attachment right you can also add here hi You can add some emojis here, let's say let's say here like this, right? Alright, so it's you can still also edit right hi jethalal and once you press the enter key it will automatically update this one, okay? So like this way, you can implement a simple chatter functionality in Odoo side using mail.thread functionality. For example, let's say if I will forward this class, alright, and I will upgrade this module. Now I will try to refresh the screen. Now you can see it will automatically treat this one as a one to many field as a default functionality right you can see like this so this is the class it will automatically convert convert into the beautiful chatter part okay so don't forget this fun, uh, this class and uh, again like in this class the main important field is message underscore ids which is one to many field okay so this one and once you upgrade this module and once you refresh the screen you can see the functionality automatically working okay and once you hover here you can see exact date and time all right you can send messages you can also send the logs you can also upload the attachment all right so if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how you can also track all your previous changes in the chatter part please check in our next session all right so see you there